Now would you join the children and sing a hearty welcome to you, a hearty welcome, Pastor Pat. You'll get yours another time, Bob. Okay. A hearty welcome to you, a hearty welcome to you, a hearty welcome, Pastor Pat. A hearty welcome to you. Thank you. Yep. And now will the children please be seated? And Penny, of course, has some words she'd like to say. Excuse me. Thank you. Pastor Pat? Yes. Do I look different in person than on TV? Somewhat. A little different? Much more beautiful. Oh, good. <laughs> well, we're going to get to know each other very well because that's my condo. And you can interrupt me anytime, just knock first. Penny, you're not staying. <laughs> Mom, this is ongoing, and we'll have it resolved by the time that it's important to have it resolved. I'm not talking to you, Penny. Don't be that way. You've prepared for today. Okay, I've, I have prepared. All right, now always with introductions, we get to learn a little bit about each other. And I'm going to tell you some things about Pastor Pat, and then I've asked one of you to tell something about yourself that happened this last week. And it was very exciting. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so I bet that you didn't know that Pastor Pat worked in dairy farming for seven years. Is that right? Holy yes, holy cow. <laughs> Kian, that was really good. That was funny, Kian. Yeah. So that, I want you to know, that is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And you know what? If you are on a dairy farm, it's really hard to take vacations because you can't say, could you come over and watch my cows for a few hours? No, it doesn't work like that. It's very, very, very hard work. And what else did she do? She taught high school English and math. Is that right? Can you believe it? High school. High school English and math. That's, that's hard work, isn't it, Audrey? Yes. Yeah, and math is hard, right? Don't you think? No, you don't think so? Yep. I always thought it was, but. <laughs> and uh, she worked as a nurse's aide. Mom, I want to tell some of these things. Okay. Uh, she was a bookkeeper, so she understands about money and finances. And, and she was a speech therapist, right? Yeah. Can you believe that? All one person. And this is what she's been doing these last eight years. This is a map of the state of Maine. Can you see it? OK, where do we live? Where? That's where we usually do live. Yeah, right there. But Pastor Pat was the district superintendent, now that's like my mom's boss, all up here, northern Maine. And you know how many churches she was in charge of? Tell them, Pastor Pat. 60. 60 churches. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how many miles that means she had to drive in one year? How many miles in one year, Pastor Pat? About 30, 35. 35,000 miles in one year, because she was in charge of 60 churches. And all my mom did is one. So, <laughs> yeah. so anyway, thank you, Penny. Uh, I think we're done with that portion right now, Penny. So you can just rest. And I'm going to ask if Jack will tell Pastor Pat something about his week last week.
You want to stand up? And what did he send you? He sent me a book about all the presidents. And he sent me a picture of him. And here it says, to Jack Howard. All the best. George H.W. Bush on the photograph. And he, he gave books to your class, right? To the whole class? Did he give you? No, he just gave Oh, just you? Oh, that was very nice. And this picture, this picture um, I have a connection to it because my father was in the military. Yeah. And here are the bushes holding you at your baptism, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that was a very special day. Yeah. So just wanted to share that with you. And each one of these children has such a special story they could tell you, and they will. And you'll hear them. Thank you. And now you can go to your Sunday school class.